Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So you're in a relationship with somebody but you're secretly in love with somebody else. What do you do? Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about it. All right fam, thanks for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So you're in a relationship with somebody but you secretly love somebody else. I'm going to give you five things to think about. Maybe it's actually time to walk away and stop, you know, just basically making that person a placeholder. By the way, did a video on that. I will definitely link that up above and, of course, down in the description box below. So check that video out as well. Maybe, just maybe, you are a place placeholder, excuse me, in that relationship, but you have no idea. This particular video is for the person who knows exactly what is going on. So maybe you are the, the, the mate of your placeholder currently because you're secretly in love with somebody else. And maybe really it's time for you to walk away from that relationship. So we're going to talk about five things that you need to think about before you walk away. But these are things that you need to think about to really consider the fact that are you actually happy where you're at? Or are you just fascinated or infatuated with that previous partner that it didn't work out with? So we're going to go ahead and jump in. All right, fam. So the very first thing that you absolutely want to do is to close your eyes and picture yourself already broken up with your now partner. How does that actually make you feel? Do you feel devastated or heartbroken or do you actually feel relief? And my friend, if you feel relief, that is your sign. At least something to think about. But that's at least one sign to say, you know what? Might be time for me to walk away from this person. But if you're feeling devastated or like you feel like you cannot live without this person, there's something to think about. Maybe you really don't want to be with that person that you feel you're in love with. The person that you truly need to open up and give yourself completely to may be the person that you're absolutely with currently. Second thing to think about, especially if you were feeling that relief feeling from number one, you need to make sure that you work out those feelings. Truly work them out because you have to think about this and consider the fact that just because you're feeling relief from your current partner after you pictured that, does not mean that you and the person that you're secretly still in love with are meant to be together. Because what if they've actually moved on and are completely happy with the partner that they're with? And you're the only one who's holding on. You're the only one who's actually wishing and hoping and like, this possibly could work out. Maybe you're the one who's secretly trying to contact them in some type of way. You're holding on to their social media accounts. You're holding on to their phone number. You're holding on to old paraphernalia that they gave you. You're holding on to pictures. And all of this is keeping you wrapped up in that person and not even giving the person that you're currently in a relationship a real chance. But maybe that relief is telling you to work out your feelings because, again, that does not mean that just because you are having relief from your current partner means that you and the ex, the one that you secretly in love with, want you back and is still in love with you and still want to work it out with you. That's not what that means. Finally, think about that just to make sure that it's not the halo effect, which is when you are holding on to all of these feelings and you still infatuated with the person, but it's mainly because you don't have to deal with they BS all day, every day, like you got to deal with your current partners. So you're still holding on and, and um, dealing with that fantasy of them versus wow. that real person that they truly are. Next, especially if you have not done this already, the next thing to think about is to absolutely have a conversation with your current partner, your current spouse, your current mate to let them know exactly how you're feeling. I'm not saying that this is going to be an easy conversation. I'm not saying that they're going to actually be happy to hear what you have to say. But the only way 
especially if you guys are either going to stay together or are going to part and to part amicably without all of that fuss and craziness that could creep in. You just seriously have to be open and honest about the way that you truly feel. And maybe it's something that's actually missing in your relationship while you're feeling like you're still attached and infatuated and holding on to that fantasy about the other person. Because maybe that person is not your current partner, is not meeting whatever it is that you're holding on to. So whatever need that you have that the other person was providing for you as to why you're still secretly holding on and still secretly in love with them, that is something that you need to talk about with your current spouse your current partner because and you don't have to be all creepy about it like my ex used to do this and you ain't doing this and all that stuff because that's not gonna go over well at all but what you can tell them is how you actually like this thing and you like this thing because it makes you feel good it makes you feel wanted it makes you feel respected it makes them it makes you feel cared for in your mind you know it's because of the ex but you don't have to bring up the ex because again you might just be infatuated with the ex because you don't have to deal with the day-to-day -day BS. And you got to deal with your partner's day-to-day -day BS. And we all bring some BS and flaws to the table as much as we think that we are perfect. None of us are perfect. All right, two more things, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. The first one of those two things is don't use this as an excuse to become a cheater. It's not sexy. It's not fair. And it's truly showing your immaturity when you choose to cheat while you are absolutely in a relationship. It also shows that you are not in the long haul to keep and hold a relationship. You are emotionally unstable, emotionally unintelligent. Being in a relationship, showing your loyalty, showing your commitment even in the times that you don't feel like doing it, even when you're not getting all the attention that you feel that you should be getting, even when you're getting disrespected, even when y'all both just going hand with each other, it's a whole laundry list of things to think about. But when you guys are in a relationship together, relationships are specifically about helping you grow about helping you get to that next level and so if you are using this as an excuse to cheat versus to work on your relationship then you ain't ready for no relationship anyway as much as you think you are as much as you want to be you're really not because if cheating is the very first thing that comes up you ain't going to make it in no long-term relationship, whether it's just a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, engagement, and especially not a marriage. You're not going to make it because you, anytime something is not going the way that you think that it should go, guess what you're going to do, bro? Guess what you're going to do, sis? You're going to go outside your home. And truth be told, relationships go up and down the entire time, up and down, up and down, up and down. Because when I'm ready to give and love on you, you might not be ready for that. And then I got to deal with my emotions and be like, you know what? Okay. A lot of time they come together. Cool. And we on the same page. Right. But then sometimes one person up here and the other person down here and then vice versa. And then it goes again and goes again. And then y'all come together and then it goes again and it goes again. And then I come together and all of these times that y'all not equal. You thinking did I marry the right person? Am I in a right relationship with the right person? You know, um, do I actually love this person? Should I stay with this person? It's a whole bunch of things going on, especially when they're not equal, especially when they're not equal, especially when they're not equal. Right. But if the first thing or the second thing is to go outside of your home, whether you're talking trash about them, whether you're building emotional relationships and attachment with other people, whether you actually in the physical act of cheating with somebody, you are absolutely showing your emotional Im uh, um, immaturity and you are seriously not ready for a relationship because it's going to be equal, like I said, then up and down and equal and up and down. So are you in it for the long haul? Or are you in it because you always wanted to be happy-go-lucky? Because you think that your partner is supposed to make you happy anyway. Or are you actually ready to fight for this thing together, especially when things are really going pretty well? As quiet as it's kept, all of those relationships that we just love to see 
We always talk about Michelle Obama and uh, Barack Obama. Or just think about some of the um, old-timer couples that you know. they happy-go-lucky. they doing things together. They had to work to get to those relationships and the part that they are at now. But they still have ups and downs, right? But they're able to recover a lot faster because they know that they've already been through some things before and they stayed together. And they've been through some things before and they stayed together. And they've been through some things before and they stayed together. And so because their relationship has matured, they're not thinking about the whole, if we argue today, we're actually going to divorce. Or if we argue today, we're actually going to break up. That that relationship is a lot more solid. The foundation was absolutely built and they were growing on each other. They were growing separately. Uh, um, I said on each other, but I meant <laughs> they were growing together. They were growing separately and, and the relationship is flourished. And now they've been in it for, you know, 10, 20, 30 years, but not miserable years. They're happy. We know those couples when they walk in, in the park and they hold hands. I love to see old couples. That gives me hope. That gives me joy. I love to see them still um, engaging in, um, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Affection outside of the home. That's sexy to me. And I love to see it. I'm always smiling anytime I see an elderly couple, meaning that your their hair is completely gray. That's what I mean by elderly. I don't know the age. It doesn't matter. But if they both get all of this gray hair, I just love to see them holding hands, walking hand in hand. Or, you know, they'll sneak a kiss or whatever it is. They built that relationship. They cultivated that relationship. That relationship did not just happen overnight. I know I went off on a tangent. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up and get to the last point. All right. The last thing to think about is just if you do have a talk with your current partner and you actually say, you know what? I'm wrapping this up, throwing it in the towel forever, moving on with life. And then you try to go over there with the ex, the one that you're still in love with, you secretly infatuated with. She could actually reject you when you get over there too. And so now you lost both women. Or if you're the woman, he, you know, you can get over there. You done lost your current boo. And now you're trying to go back to him. And he don't want you no more either. And so now you seriously alone and single. And now you about to start beating yourself up because of the shoulda, woulda, coulda. I shoulda, woulda, coulda stayed with where I was. If I would have known what I know now, I wouldn't have left. But if you actually concentrate on the relationship that you're actually in, especially if you did, especially if you did number one, which is close your eyes and you did not feel like uh, satisfied when you pictured you your, uh, when you pictured you and your partner not being together anymore. If you weren't satisfied, if you weren't happy. When you pictured that, then you, there's still some hope for you to work on that relationship. But it does take two. But especially if you are the one who's who's the one who's secretly in love with somebody else, you're the one who's actually holding that relationship back. Think about it. 